Ryan with Goodwin Racing, and we're here with our budget and seat build, a uh, recent project that we're doing uh, just to sort of show how much fun you can have with the NC MX-5 platform without going crazy on how much money you're spending. The car's got a 2.5 liter engine uh, that we swapped in. That's just a junkyard engine we got from the junkyard for about 500 bucks. We got this car for $5,000, just Craigslist fine, so it was a nice budget uh, entry level uh, price point. And the suspension right now is Meister R uh, Club Race Coilovers. We've got our budget big brake kit on it, which we developed on this car so that you could have a good option, lots of performance, but it wasn't crazy money. Uh, it's got 17 by 10 wheels. These are the Koenig Hypergrams, again, developed actually for this car with the right offset and everything that you don't have to do fender flares or anything like that. We've got a nice meaty 255 tire on it, so a lot of grip. This car really holds it in the corners. Uh, you'll notice in the front there's a, a little bit of a lip spoiler. We've got Singular Motorsports hood vents. Uh, those aid in cooling as well as reducing lift. And in the back we've got a black rear fabric spoiler that really settles the car down and helps with rear traction on quarter exit. Um, Blackbird Fabworks NCRZ roll bar, really the best roll bar you can put in the car that still allows the top to go up and down. Um, we did your basic safety stuff uh, for track use. We've got a Sparco seat in there, six point harnesses, fire extinguisher, um, and a uh, little bit of a, a beefed up transmission. Uh, slightly beefed up uh, diff with an OS Geiken limited slip in that, and then. Uh, Front hubs are from an RX-8 because the hubs will wear out pretty fast once you get into lots of grip and everything on the track. And in the rear, we actually did a RX-8 spindle conversion uh, with the uh, hybrid axles that we made that are 70% uh, NC axles and then the outer uh, CV is actually the RX-8 so that it works with the, the RX-8 hubs. So we've got RX-8 hubs all around. So this car can really do laps and laps and laps and the hubs just last. Uh, junkyard 2.5 liter motor straight out of a junkyard. Um, these are actually forged internal, so they're really good for handling boost uh, right out of the right out of the car that they came out of. Uh, that's a Fab 9 GT turbo kit. They just released that. It's kind of their new entry level uh, budget-wise kit. Um, we're running about 8 PSI, and that's uh, it's feeling like somewhere around 293 or 300 horsepower right now. Uh, really important. Aluminum coolant expansion tank. Uh, this unit is what keeps your motor from dying when uh, you have a, if you have a plastic tank, it likes to crack. They're all getting old now. Uh, and then car overheats and then you lose an engine. So that's really important. We've got our uh, Goodman Racing triple pass radiator down here. Um, that is really important for cooling, obviously. Um, other things in here to work with the turbo, we have uh, 800 cc Dietschworth injectors, and then we've got a Dietschworth 300 fuel pump in the back. Uh, radium engineering catch can over in the corner, and uh, you can see in the top here the uh, Meister Club Race coilovers. But it's really a, a relatively simple build. You know, we've got other builds that are just a long list of parts, and those are fun. But you don't need all of that to have a lot of fun at the track. So this car is about 300 horsepower right now, just conservatively tuned on about 8 psi. Feels like 300. We haven't had all the dyno yet, but with a, comparing to other cars, that's about 290, 300 is what it feels like. And man, this thing scoots. It's going to be a ton of fun today. Support brands that support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.